The Save Humanity Advocacy Center, SHAC, has accused the former U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, and the Council of Foreign Relations of conspiring with opposition politicians to undermine President Muhammad Buhari's administration. Speaking on Sunday on behalf of the group at the press conference in Abuja, the executive director, Barista Abu Abdul Karim, said, Campbell and the CFR have never meant well for Nigeria and always pushing a destabilizing agenda. Campbell's town hall meeting was turned out to have been a front for mobilizing, organizing, indoctrinating, and deploying what was to be later named the NSAS protest, a destructive mob action that went on an industrial scale looting, asking a murder of security operatives on the instruction of Campbell and his Council on Foreign Relations. Please note that we had always known that Campbell did not mean well for Nigeria. He has made that much known in every one of his articles about and against Nigeria, in which he has said he has been pushing the concept of Nigeria being a country that has already failed. The group added that Campbell and the CFR are promoting the rise of terrorism on the African continent to use the United States to set up military and drone bases that are then used to control countries. According to the group, the ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo and Atiku Abubakar are behind the evil alliance to destabilize Nigeria. It is the entity that has decided that the only way it can counter dissent in China is by limiting this, the Sino-African growth, which it seeks to achieve by undermining Nigeria as a viable nation state. Chief Olusha Gobasanjo, a former president who wants to keep calling the shot from his retirement, is one of the people that are validating campus activities in Nigeria. We are also aware of the unholy alliance between Obasanjo's then number two, Alaji Atiku Abubakar and Campbell. Atiku was in the main opposition candidate in the 2019 presidential election, who lost woefully to the incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari. It was well documented how Atiku threatened at that time that Nigeria would be ungovernable if the electorates do not vote him in. It, however, urged the federal government to take the necessary diplomatic steps to draw the attention of the United States to the subversive activities of its ex-envoy in Nigeria. The group also urged the peace-loving Nigerians to henceforth take to social media and other online platforms to flag any content emanating from Campbell as hate speech so that the relevant authorities can take them down. From Abuja, Lawrence Audu, TVN News.